Kid Comic Club on purpose by Dave Pilkey. Cat Kid is copyright by Dave Pilkey and it's published by Graphics, an imprint of Scholastic Inc. Last time in the comic club. Today, I'm going to talk to a bunch of nerds candies. I'm so sad. It sounds like someone's in distress. You should probably do some breathing exercises to calm your nerves. Breathe in through your mouth and out through your nose. Isn't it the other way around? Who here is the breathing guru? I know it'll cheer him up. A comic about the end of the world. The inevitable end we are doomed to accept. So did that cheer you up? Stop talking so close to the microphone! I have failed to succeed thus far and I finally succeeded in failing! It just goes to show that if you try and try, you'll finally fail and succeed! My brain hurts. Hey, why don't you come back to the comic club? Leave me alone! I'm trying to go to the bathroom! Okay! Hey, Naomi. Papa said you needed to tell us something. She's not saying anything. Well, what did you want to tell us? Spit it out. <laughs> Chapter 10. New day, new comics. Well, it's a new day, and it's time for some all-new comics. Who wants to go first? We, we do, do, we do. do. We made this comic with cardboard and clay and stuff. And it's called... Baby Frog Squad. Transfroggers. Space. A froggy frontier. These are the voyages of the Baby Frog Squad. Our mission? To seek out space bullies and send them packing. Deep inside the sleeping deck, our heroes Frankie, Cece, and Boo are dreaming of justice, while I, their trusted navigator, Set a course for adventure. To boldly jump where no frog has jumped before. Suddenly. Wake up, baby frog squad. I have detected a space bully. We're on our way, Brutus. Yeehaw. Let me at em. Sup, Brutus. We're heading to planet number 61. It's another dangerous mission, I'm afraid. Well, we're not. Let's go, squad. But then, hey. What happened to our space buggies? I made some improvements while y'all were, were asleep. Thanks, buddy. How can we ever repay you? How about a hug? Okay, aren't you gonna give Brutus a hug? I'm not really a hugger. Me neither. I'm more of a bower. Oh, okay, but before you go, I need to tell y'all something. Sorry, Brutus, but it'll have to wait. Let's boogie. Zoom. Shoosh. Croak. Zoom, 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 zoom. I see the bully. But then, come in, baby frog squad. It's me, Brutus, on your radio. I need to tell y'all about. Not now, Brutus. We've got work to do. Hey, bully, cut it out. No way. Then you leave me no choice. I shall stop this ruffian with my new space lasso. Woo, 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 swoosh, woo, woo, Swing, swoosh. I'm free, grr. Thanks, baby frog squad. No prob. Now all I have to do is drive around and around. Again and again, and again and again. I guess that wraps up this story. Ha 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 Hiya, froggies. Oh, hi, Brutus. What's up? Nothing. We're just flying to our deaths. Oh, well, can I tell y'all something now? Sure. What's on your mind, Brutus? Well, remember when we were all back at the ship and I said I made improvements to your little cars? Yeah. Well, if y'all ever get in a jam, 
Just press the new transform button I made. And it'll be party time! Gee, thanks, pal! We'll give that a try! Hmm... Click! Kachok! Zakloop! Fwooj! Chunka chunka chunka! Bunka! Kashnook! Souffle! Ratatouille! Vichy Swa! Whoosh! Clunk! Clank! Shhh! Bada bing! Bada bang! Bada boom! Well, I don't know about you two, but when I get back to the ship, Brutus is getting a big hug. All right, okay. To be continued. That was wonderful! Thanks. Thanks! Who made those colorful robots? Me and Deb and Frida. We used salad dressing lids and wire and clay. And tape dispensers for their feet. Well, I'm very impressed. I'll bet that comic cheered you up. <sighs> Not really. Well, maybe this one will help. It's all about happiness. Scallopup and the Happy Game by Poppy. Everyone was worried because Ghost Girl was so sad. She missed her old cat very much. And everything she did made her feel sadder and sadder. When she looked at her photo book, she couldn't smile. When she went to the old cat's favorite park, she couldn't play. And when she sat beneath the old cat's favorite catnap tree, she couldn't sleep. Her friends wanted to help. Then Skelopup got an idea. Skelopup flew to the clock tower to explain. When the clock struck one, ding dong, Skelopup was forlorn. When the clock struck 1.30, Ding dong ding! Skelopup jumped for joy! And when the clock struck two, ding dong ding dong! Skelopup looked sad again. Hey, said Skeleton Boy, I think I understand. Let's all play Skelopup's new game. Here are the rules. For 30 minutes, we must all be happy. But what if we can't be happy? Then we'll pretend. Let's start now! Skelopup and Skeleton Boy sat up straight and smiled big pretend smiles. You guys look weird. We're winning the game. Ghost Girl did not want to lose the game. So she sat up straight and tall and smiled a big pretend smile too. This feels dumb, but it felt kind of nice too. Skelopup and Skeleton Boy jumped and ran. So Ghost Girl did too. This feels strange, but it felt kind of nice, too. Skelopup and Skeleton Boy laughed big pretend laughs. Ha 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 ha! So Ghost Girl did, too. Ha 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 ha! This feels silly. Ha 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 ha! But it felt kind of nice, too. Ha 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 For ten minutes, the three friends pretended to feel happy. And sometimes, it didn't feel like pretending at all. But then the game changed. Skelopup found the photo book. Hey, these are the pictures that make me sad. Oh, Ghost Girl looked up at the clock tower. She knew she could be sad again soon. So for now, she tried to find a way to make her sad photos feel happy. Home. Even though my old cat is gone and I'll never see him again, I'm happy that he was here for a while. And that I got to be his friend. Hmm. The three friends looked up at the clock. Only ten more minutes left. So they walked to the old cat's favorite park. It was hard to be happy here. Old cat would be sad if he saw all of this litter. Let's pick it all up. So they did. And soon the park was beautiful. So they went to the old cat's favorite catnap tree and snuggled together. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Hey, the happy game is over. We can be sad again if we want to, but they were too sleepy to be sad right now. So they slipped and slipped and slipped. The end. Wow, that was lovely. Thanks, Sarah. Oh. Oops, I mean, thanks, Miss Hatoff. Oh, please, call me Sarah. Okay, Sarah. So, Melvin, did Poppy's comic cheer you up? Well, Sarah, 
To be perfectly honest, Sarah, <laughs> uh, um, it did cheer me up, but it also gave me an awesome idea, Miss Hannah. Chapter 11, Melvin's Awesome Idea. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Nothing. I'm just scanning these comics. Why? Because they're gonna be published! Will you email them to that publisher lady for me? Melvin, haven't you learned your lesson? Didn't you see what happened to Naomi? That rejection broke her heart, and now she's quit the club! Do you really want to go through all of that again? No, but... I can't give up! You always tell us to keep trying! Even if things get hard, you always say failure is a stepping stone to success. Right, Daddy? Yeah, I do say that a lot. Great, then it's all settled. Let me know when that publisher lady writes back, okay? But... Uh, 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 okay. Melvin's hopes are high as he tries to get the other comics published. Will his naive thinking just make everybody else quit the club? If they get denied by the publisher? Or will one of their comics get published? I guess we'll just have to wait and see on the next episode of Cat Kid Comic Club. I hope one of these gosh dang comics gets published. Otherwise, this is gonna be a real downer of a book. If you wanna get Cat Kid for yourself, the link is in the description below. Go ahead and go get it. And don't forget to subscribe. I see all you people that are watching this and not subscribed. So click the subscribe button and leave the video a like if you liked it. And we'll see you next time.